Hi Wyatt. Hi Wyatt. We're rolling. Okay. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those new here, hi, my name is Jenny. I'm a second year family medicine resident. This is Wyatt. Da oh, you get to play with this. You get to play with this, okay? So, this is my first weekend off after working 10 days straight on inpatient medicine. So, I'm super happy right now and I just wanted to come come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about the questions that I've been getting a lot lately and that is when is the perfect time to start a family especially if you are trying to pursue medicine and I think this whole video is kind of gonna be like this so my apologies in advance <laughs> oh my goodness so th this is just like kind of what med being a mom and being a doctor and and um, just life in general with a kid. You kind of just roll with it. And <laughs> so a little bit about my backstory. I had Wyatt or I was pregnant with Wyatt during my fourth year of medical school. And I had him two weeks prior to graduation. And then I started residency about when he was eight weeks old. I breastfed during my whole first year and I pumped um, up until he was about 14 months. So when people ask me if, you know, if, if you can be a doctor, if you can go through medical school and stuff and still be a mom and balance the two, I definitely would say yes because I have been doing it. And I am a firm believer in that, you know, there's never a good time really to have kids and life is gonna continue to get harder and life is gonna continue to throw things at you. Like you never know, like there's there's re really never a good time. Um, when you're in med school, you're like, oh, I'll start when I'm in residency. And then when you're in residency, you're like, oh, I'm so busy, maybe I'll wait till after residency. And then after residency, there's also work demands. And so you're like, oh, I just started this job, maybe I'll wait a couple more years. And then by the time you know it, you're like, oh shoot, where has the time gone? It's gone by so fast and I still don't have a family and you feel more, I would feel, I personally would feel more rushed into doing things. So, careful honey. <clears throat> so when people ask like me, what is the perfect time um, or what is the time that I would suggest, then I want to give you more of a backstory so you would be able to make your own decision. During the first two years of med school is mainly didactic based so you're either in class or you are listening to lectures online and these two years are probably the most important because you will take your board exams after the first or after the second year of med school and based on your board scores it really opens doors for you of what specialty you can go into for more prestigious specialties like plastic surgery, radiology, dermatology, anesthesiology, basically the roads to success. Radiology, orthopedic surgery, or ophthalmology, sorry, not ortho, ophthalmology, um, anesthesiology, dermatology, and surgery. Wyatt, honey. Obviously, if you want to do those more prestigious specialties, then it's going to take a higher board score. Um, I am not a very smart student, I would say. I have to work very hard to memorize things and understand things compared to other students I felt like or I don't know I just felt like that's uh, my struggle I had to put in a lot more work and time to get the same score as someone else who was say smarter I don't know like people just memorize things differently um, and so I felt like I had to work really hard those first two years of med school um, during the first year you do have a summer so it's possible you can be pregnant your first year of medical school and then have birth during your summer and then i've had other students who've been pregnant during their second year and just taken their boards while they were <laughs> pregnant <laughs> wyatt no no thank you no thank you okay <laughs> I've had other moms who... <laughs> 
And I personally feel pregnancy, like being pregnant is no big deal. When the baby comes out, when your child comes out, that's when you like, that's when there's so much going on. They require so much attention. They're just not in your stomach anymore and you could bring them whenever. You know, you can't go on dates in a movie. This guy, this guy, this guy. You, you require so much attention now, don't you? Dad. Yeah, see? When I was pregnant, I could just sit here and film. And you would just kick into my tummy? No. Yeah, you're ill. No. Okay, that's that's not cute. Yucky. Did you get anything? No? Gross. Ew! Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so you know, like when you're pregnant, you can still do a lot of things. It's just that when baby comes out, it, they require a lot more attention. So when Stan and I were married, even when we were married, we were long distance. And so I went through med school living by myself. And so I could not imagine having a, a baby and trying to take care of that said baby by myself in residency with no family around or not residency sorry in med school with no family around it was just it would just be so difficult for me personally because I had nobody um literally nobody and then in residency there are plenty of people who have kids all the time my co-resident is actually uh seven almost eight months pregnant right now during her second year and so you know it's it's doable. I I know plenty of people who have babies during residency and it's no big deal. I mean, you may extend your residency for a few weeks, but like what is a few weeks in the grander scheme of things? It's nothing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah? For those who ask me like, I... oh, you don't want people to ask mommy questions? Careful. For those who ask me, I who say like I have a three-year-old and or I have a two-year-old and so and so, um, should I start my medical journey? And do you think it's possible to be in med school with a young child? Yes, it's possible. Um, but how you do it, it really depends on your situation. Like, do you have family to help you? Or do you have a partner who's going to be there to help you? Like a two-year-old, why is oh, almost no. two? Oh, no, yeah. And you require so much attention. Yeah. Yep, daddy's going to get you for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey. Hey, hey. There it is. There he is. Hey, hey, come here, monster. Let's go play downstairs. You want to go play downstairs? Okay, okay bye. 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 Close the door, please. Thank you. Bye. And then a lot of you are asking also that you have small children now. Is it still possible to go to med school and pursue medicine? And I say, yes, like you can do anything you set your mind to. You just need help. Like you just need someone to help you. And it takes a village to raise children and that's okay you don't need to do it all yourself um if I were to do it again and if Wyatt was this age and you asked me would I try to go to med school I don't know like I don't have anybody I don't have family around Stan wasn't around um I don't know if I would be able to do it and given those circumstances I would have had to give up a lot more of my time with Wyatt than I would want to. You know, how I see it is that your child is go only going to be a baby for so long. Um, he's only, he or she is only going to want to cuddle you and kiss you for so long, you know, soon they're going to want to explore and play. And then when they get to like their teenage years, they're going to be like, ew, do I really want to hang out with my parents? I'd rather hang out with friends or go on dates. And then when they get a little bit older than that, they need to do their own thing to pursue their own career paths, do sports. I don't know. Like, I feel like they're only going to need me for so long that me personally, um, I don't know if I if I can do it again, if Wyatt was that small and I had to start all over again. Um, I don't see it. 
I feel like it was fine for me because I started when I was already in med school and I felt like I had the time and I had the balance. Um, but just, I don't know, just the first two years of med school is just was probably the roughest for me. I don't know about you guys. I feel like a lot of people also just say that they want to be a doctor because that is all they know and that's what's the most popular. I feel like there's so many other branches of medicine where you also serve people and you have great satisfaction in your job such as occupational therapy, physical therapy, respiratory therapy, um, scrub techs, uh, radiology techs, um, audiologists, like there's so many different fields in actual medicine that you still get to incorporate the science behind it, you still get to incorporate the um, patient care, there's PAs who work under physicians who do a lot of the things like surgery and um, just work in the ED. There's there's plenty of those things that you can still do and I think that it is your job to figure out what it is as a doctor that you want to pursue. Like I wanted to be a DO. I wanted to do osteopathic manipulative medicine. I want to have that continuity of care and you know and the only way that I was able to do that was be to become a doctor. Um, and so I think that you need to figure that out for yourself. Like can you do this in any other route <laughs> where you don't have to take out as much school loans, where you would dedicate less time, you probably would have a better schedule. I don't know, like you have to figure out what is best for you and your family. All I'm saying is that it is very possible to have a family and to be a doctor and to be good at both. And I also think that there is plenty, there's no right time to have a family or to start a family and so do it when it is right for you. Um, love to hear your opinions and your thoughts in the comment section below. I have heard many many comments who with people telling me I am dumb for starting a family and that I'm in so much debt and like why am I doing this and that I'm gonna be a horrible mom or a horrible doctor. Um, so I've heard all those things but I just want to hear your opinions and what you think. Um, hopefully this gives you some inspiration to start your own family, to pursue your dreams and your career. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Wyatt is very active on Insta stories and I'm able to show you more behind the scenes really of the hospital on Insta stories as compared to a vlog. Um, so yeah. Uh, love to hear from you. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Where's your nose? Nose, yeah. Where's your ear? Yeah. Where's your hair? Yeah. Where's your feet? Okay. Where's your heart? Where's your heart? Yeah. Poop, 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 poop. I love you. Give mom a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>